anyone that plays for Iowa State, but especially if you grew up in the state of Iowa. I think everyone who's kind of grown up in this state knows what this game is. Well, growing up here, you know, it's uh, it's some it's some Iowa kids always look at as the Iowa, Iowa State rivalry. It's a thing that's ingrained in Iowa's DNA. Is just having this game be a part of, of the culture of, of the state of Iowa. It's for a trophy, you know. It's, it's a prized possession, and we want that trophy back, and we want to be able to keep it, too. Welcome to Iowa Football with Kirk Ferentz, powered by Iowa Corn. With that, we're going to bring in uh, Craig Floss, who is the CEO of uh, Iowa Corn, our uh, our banner sponsor uh, today, and Roger Zylstra, who is president of the Iowa Corn Growers Association. We've got quite a few farmers here today, Craig. I was noticing your tailgate earlier. A lot of farm friends here today. We game. do. In fact, we've got uh, more than 1,500 people in the Iowa Corn Cyhawk tent over there today, and uh, it's a time for everybody. Iowa and Iowa State fans like to come together for this big game. This is the most important field in Iowa today for this game right That's here, Jack Rice Stadium. That's a great point. And uh, Roger, a thought struck me earlier. I've, we had a, a chance to mingle through a lot of the tailgaters. I don't know that there's an ounce of food on those tailgate tables that, that, that don't derive in, in some shape or form from corn. Uh, that's exactly right, and uh, we're proud of the fact that we can grow the product that supports uh, agriculture in Iowa. Well, tonight's game is brought to you by the farmers behind the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series. Joining us today, Craig Floss with the Iowa Corn Growers and Bob Bowman is also with the Iowa Corn Growers, but Bob is the farmer of the Iowa Corn Growers. And Craig, let's start with you and tell us why the Iowa Corn Growers decided to get behind this and, and make this the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series. Well, you know, there's probably nothing more Iowa than the Iowa, Iowa State matchup. Anybody who's in Iowa knows what's going on on this day every year. And a great opportunity for Iowa corn farmers to be supportive of both the University of Iowa and Iowa State University, as well as a chance for us to get out our messages about the importance of corn and uh, how corn impacts our everyday lives. Bob, tell us a little bit about, from the producer standpoint, your well, involvement and, and why you're involved. Well, part of our job is to, to invest uh, the money as best as we can for the benefit of the, the industry and the corn farmers. And, and this is one way that we're able to reach not only our members, but a broad spectrum of the people in Iowa. And as you know, this game is broadcast far wider than the state of Iowa. rolling left that's the same play rolls left throws into the end zone caught touchdown touchdown Iowa he drops some pressure coming he delivers right and it's caught by Quentin Bunrich he breaks away 50 to the 40 down the sideline 30 to the 20 to the 10 touchdown three receivers blitz coming Jake gets rid of it and it is caught and going for a touchdown is Jake Hillier touchdown Iowa Final score 27 21. Cyhawk is coming back to Iowa City. Welcome back to the Paul Roach Show, powered by Iowa Corn.
Up next, we'll take a look at the Iowa Corn Sihawk Series matchup against the Hawkeyes. That's coming up next. Welcome back to the Fred Hoiberg Show. We're recording the show uh, just prior to Iowa State's matchup with the Iowa Hawkeyes. But Fred, I can't remember a year when there's been more buildup uh, for this matchup with both teams in the top 25. Yeah, it, it really has. I, mean, you know, I think it's great for the state uh, you know, to have this rivalry uh, with both teams playing great basketball right now. Uh, one loss between the two of us, which was an overtime loss by Iowa in a very competitive field uh, in the uh, Battle for Atlantis uh, down in the Bahamas. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it, always a competitive game, uh, you know, always a little something extra in the air uh, and, uh, you know, just a great atmosphere at Hilton Coliseum. Thank you very much for the evening, Sihawk Band. What a game we've got, huh? It's going to be a special night. There's one of these 10 finals behind us. Standing at center court, we'll have a pair of tickets to every, each and every Iowa Corn Sihawk event next year, plus $500 in envelope. It's the winner of the Iowa Corn Sihawk Series Blue Stage. The next game is going to be a five-year-old winner in the third round. And that person is Jim Lumber, but he is our grand prize winner in Paris. From the bottom of the off to Niang right side, 22 seconds. Niang with the right baseline, cut off. Reverse layup, good! Niang took it in there anyway and got the reverse layup. Seven seconds, left wing McKay, a three ball, in and out, no. Tipped around by White, no. Utah rebounds and misses, and it's over, and Iowa State wins it. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, the Iowa Gord Cyhawk Series. Williamson for three, up and good! Sprint got the bounce on that one. 